could not connect to iCloud? Getting that annoying message that says, Verif verification codes cannot be sent to your number at this time? Yeah, I know, it's frustrating. But don't worry, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly how to fix it and set up your iCloud account without any hiccups. But hey, before we jump in, do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on my helpful tips. And if you do, drop a comment saying, I subscribed. And I'll personally welcome you to this awesome community. All right, let's fix this together. First, check your iPhone software. Go to Settings, tap on General, and then hit Software Update. Make sure your iOS is up to date. Sometimes, this exact error happens just because your software is outdated. Next, check your Wi-Fi connection. If you're using Wi-Fi, make sure it's strong and stable. A weak or fluctuating signal can interfere with the iCloud setup process. Now, let's talk about location services. Go to Settings, search for Location Services, and turn it on if it's off. This might sound unrelated, but it can actually support the verification process when creating your account. Once all that's in place, here's how to set up your iCloud account step by step. Open your settings and tap on the Apple ID section at the top. Then select don't have an Apple ID or forgot it and tap that. Follow the prompts to fill in your information. When you get to the part where it asks for your phone number, this is super important. Always include your country code before typing your number. For example, if you're in the UK, start with plus 44, followed by your number. Skipping the country code is a common reason this error keeps popping up. Still having trouble? No worries, there's another way. Open a browser like Safari or Chrome and search for Apple ID. Click the official Apple link and scroll down to select Create Apple Account. Fill in all your details there, and again, make sure you add the correct country code with your phone number. And that's it. Once you've followed these steps, you should have your iCloud account up and running with no more error messages. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and let me know what topics you'd like me to cover next. Hit the like button and subscribe for more quick tutorials like this.